I haven't really talked about this. I've t- I think I've talked about it once, but yeah, I, it was it was a tough period because. <clears throat> Tough. He rang me. I just I was with England and he rang me, he said he's sitting down. I said, Go on. He said, Liverpool, I'm coming for you. And I, I couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. And like I said, the me 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 world, my life was mad at this time. It was ev- everything was just going well. And um again this, this wasn't surprising me. It's just nothing felt real. real. It was, it was mm. weird. It, you know, it's, it's hard to explain. It's just everything just seemed to like go mental. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I went from playing in League One. Now I'm playing for England. I'm in the World Cup squad. And I'm, up until that point, so my life was like this. My career was like this, and then it just went bang. Like, a, and that's what happens. Like, especially with my mentality and my ability i felt like i was getting held back by myself by myself my mm-hmm. professionalism but when it it was like let go and it just went poof, like a rocket and i got to the very top very 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 top um and, and and then liverpool and like i said and that's where the ascent stopped that's where like i, I was 32 33 the year before, physically, I've started to feel a little change, just a little change. And at, moving to Liverpool, you have to be at your peak, at your peak physically. And I, I physically, I wasn't. Um, and Liverpool happened, and it, I just, <clears throat> I'll, yeah, it, it, like I said, things stopped going my way. That makes mm. sense. Where Did you feel that happening? Yeah, yeah. It was. I, it, I was mad. I was going through it. I was going through it. So where I was get the chance. Normally, bang a goal. It was going wide. Or I'd keep up saving it. And I was going through. And I was trying my best to change it. Trying to get back to like what was happening. The fir- like the previous five years where everything I was touching was flying in or turning to gold. Everything. Mm. Now it was like it wasn't, and. No matter what I did, I couldn't turn it around. I couldn't stop it from going that way, if that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. It was starting to go the other way. And the it was it was horrible. Yeah, the time when you want it to happen the most, mm. it fails. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But people have got to realise that I was at the back end of my career. It's like yeah. it wasn't as if, if I was at my peak. And like I said, when you're at Liverpool, you have to be at your peak to be able to be get into Liverpool's first team. And even though I, I went to Liverpool, I, I kind of accepted I was going to be back up straight away. I've gone from my mentality of being the best and manifesting everything to straight away accepting that I was going to be a backup, which straight away was creating negativity into my life, mm. allowing... Yeah, a weaker mentality into my life, which I'd never done before. Because it was a season after Liverpool, you know, did Just, the title yeah. charge. Was there a bit of a negative vibe around the place as well? Maybe I haven't really talked about this. I've t- I think I've talked about it once, but um, the squad was going through um, trauma. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Stevie was going through trauma. The whole club was going through trauma, um, which I'd just walked into. Right. Um, Suarez had left. There was trauma over that. The f- not only did the fans love Suarez, the players, the lads loved mm-hmm. Suarez. Um, Louis I loved him in the dressing room and obviously loved playing football with him. He made everything tick. He made everyone yeah. tick, <clears throat> and he got the best out. He got the best out of everyone on that pitch. And now he's not there, mm-hmm. and I'm there. Do you know what I mean? And then I could see it in the, the eyes of the players, the frustration. It was mad. It's a horrible thing to explain, but I could see it. I could feel it. <clears throat> and I, I couldn't do anything about it. Yeah. I, could, I literally couldn't do anything about it. Yeah. Um, and it was it was a it was a tough time. It was a tough time. Rogers as well, was he was was he in that boat of the trauma of so no, by this time Brendan fought 
Um, Brendan thought the reason why they got so close was was because of him. So he just right. thought he, he was going to do it again. Did you take anything away from that experience, or was it just kind of more disappointment than anything that it didn't actually work out for you? It was... Um, Yeah, I, it was it was a tough period because, <clears throat> God, yeah, no, it was tough. I think it was, um, like I said, it was trauma of going through the disappointment of being a failure at your, your own club and your family and friends being affected by it. I think it was more that side than mm. myself. Um, <clears throat> I'm watching the effects of that. Um, and then trying to be, become a professional player at West Brom, where your life is supposed to have moved on, where you're still thinking about Liverpool yeah, and what could have been. And I didn't really get over Liverpool. Mm -hmm. I didn't get over Liverpool for quite a while. Yeah, like you said earlier, it's about timing sometimes, isn't it? If you hit there two years previous, might have been, yeah, might two, be different. Yeah, I, I would have been in better shape. Obviously, Liverpool... What, they wouldn't have been in the, that period of the Gerard slipping, losing Su Luis Suarez. It would have been different. But it's a good point, actually. If Gerard was, didn't slip and Liverpool went on to win the title, would you have signed for Liverpool? No. No. They probably would have. Maybe Suarez else. stays. Maybe yeah. they go elsewhere. Yeah. Because at, at, at this point, like I said, to get that close with that squad was an unbelievable achievement. 100%. Unbelievable. Yeah. But that season, it clicked. It clicked. And Louis and, like I said, Sturridge, they almost won it. Like Louis almost won that title for them. 